Good morning, here we are at the, well, start for me at least for across the years. It's been going on for two days. I'll be running for the next two days, and then I'll go two days after that for those who are running six days. I've got my tent set up that I will not sleep in until I'm done, and but we'll need it for changing clothes and everything else. So, I mean, you've got my food set up. I've got my gels and my food and, and things to clean myself as I go along. And then you come over to here and you'll see that I've got changes of clothes, jackets, long pants, clothes for the next day, gloves, extra jackets, arm sleeves, a place to sleep when I'm done, a change of clothes when I'm done, and other recovery gear. I've got spare shoes. I've got everything that I might need. So hopefully I've got everything and we'll just make it work. So the plan is at 9 a.m., which is in about 30 minutes, I will start running. The plan is to run a 12 minute mile for as long as I can. With a little bit of luck, that'll be beyond six hours. Um, I think that's pretty reasonable. The next goal after that is, which is the main goal, is to get 100 miles in and preferably do it in less than 24 hours. And then after that, just keep moving for 48 straight hours. No sleep, just keep moving forward. I'll eat on the run, I'll, I'll take brief bathroom stops and water stops as I need to and change clothes but the goal is just keep moving forward and uh, we'll see what happens. Over 10 seconds, we'll count it down. Here we go. In 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Go! for helping us celebrate the old year and the new. Okay, I didn't hold the 12 minute pace as long as I wanted. I know I think I did around five hours. Right around there, my uh, hips started acting up from the strain that I managed to do during uh, the Scottsdale half two weeks ago. So definitely uh, already hurting, which is not a good sign, but we'll continue to keep going forward and get to 100 miles. Okay, so we're now eight hours in. I have done about 35 miles. I'm a little bit further, I'm a lot behind from what I planned on being. Uh, my hip is acting up from the Scottsdale Half Marathon. It has slowed me down to a very fast walk. Uh, but bottom line is, it's going to be very tough to get 100 miles in the first 24 hours. So I'm just going to make sure I do it smart. 
I signed up for 48 hours in case this happened. So here I am, I'm getting 100 miles. That is not a question. Uh, just the question is how long. And at this point, I'm just gonna play it smart, get to 100, keep going, and log in miles for every hour of all 48 hours that I've signed up for. So get a quick nutrition break and get back out there. Okay, so I've been running for over 12 hours. I've done around 48-ish miles. I'm running about 10 miles behind planned, so I'm definitely struggling out there um, with this hip injury, but I'm still moving, I'm still going forward. It's getting cold, and part of the problem is I'm not running as hard as I planned on at this point, so I'm not generating as much body heat. So now I need to keep layering up and hopefully have enough layers to get through the night and just keep on moving. Okay, so it is approaching 7.20 in the morning. I have done over 60 miles. I am well off my pace. I should be 35 miles further along than I am, but yeah, things haven't gone as planned, but that's okay. I'm still moving forward. And the reason why I signed up for the 48 hour race was because I, could, I thought I could do the 100 miles in the first 24. But if I didn't, I wanted to have the extra cushion to do it. And so that has paid off as a smart decision because I will need that extra time. So the good news is I'm moving I'm knocking off about three miles an hour or more, or more than three miles an hour. So that, that's a good start, sign. Sun's coming up and with a little bit of luck, I should easily hit 100 miles before the end of the year and tonight. Now, reason why I'm so far behind is it got so darn cold last night, and with my hip acting up the way it was, I just said, forget it. And I stepped off the track for about five hours and attempted to sleep. I was comfortable temperature-wise, but just, it wasn't a good sleep, but I got something, so. And the good news is my legs do feel better after that five-hour rest, which was the real reason why I took it, because I kept stopping too much to stretch them out and do things with them. So it seems to have paid off so far because I'm still moving forward, still feeling good otherwise, and we'll see what happens. Okay, so technically, I crossed the 100 mile mark a little before 10 p.m. this evening. However, that achievement is not official until I cross the timing mat, signifying I completed the lap and therefore have gone over 100 miles. So let's go finish my first 100 miler. I'm really glad I changed my plan from trying to run a 100 miler to actually realizing I'm running a 48 hour foot race, that made a huge difference.
Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Hey! Hi! Happy New Year! Time. <laughs> Happy New Year! Really wish I had the legs for one more lap, but they're too trashed. I can't go fast enough to get a lap done before the cutoff. So this is it. This is the end of my 48 hour run as we approach the 48th hour.